every country is going to say that their food is best and usually they're all right um mexican food obviously great i mean you can have tortas you have tacos you have like all these different things you have pozole um and if, if, if you have an old mexican lady cooking for you you're pretty much set and they usually don't make you try anything too weird i mean like chicharron which is like fried pork rinds some people think it's weird um i think it's fine pig's feet is something that hispanic like mexicans might give you um but they're actually not too bad either but just hispanic mexico has really great food um peruvians lomo saltado it's like this it's this beef it's like this cooked beef with like fried potatoes and onions and um this really good seasoning and tomatoes and it's just it's heaven and they always serve it over rice and you're just like you the whole time you're just drooling they have tacos a la bancaina which is like potatoes in this yellow almost spicy sauce and it's just great they have then like dominicans have morir soñando which is this amazing drink it literally means to die sleeping it's this, this it's so good it's like milk and orange juice and it sounds gross but it's so delicious they have they have i think they put condensed milk in it as well um and it's it's amazing and then they also have this thing called mango which is like mashed plantains and then they put like they have this cheese that they fry and then salami and then red onions and sometimes eggs that stuff's delicious colombians have this thing called um bandeja paisa oh my goodness bandeja paisa it's like they have it's it's this huge plate like always huge and they have like they have steak and chicharron and rice and eggs and i think it's salami or something like that but it's just it's like this whole plate of just all this awesome food and they always have tostones tostones are something you're going to come in contact with a lot in new jersey because it's like it's this fried plantain and they have it everywhere from like colombia to dominican republic you're just going to see it a lot you're going to eat a lot of yuca um which is this other kind of thing that they replace potatoes with in some places um peruvians like potatoes a lot people from ecuador make really good food there's this there's this cool thing if you're from la ecuador is like split into two really you can you can ask people if they're from la sierra which is the mountains or la costa which is the coastline and if they're, they're from the coastline then they always drink eat a lot of like seafood so they make really good shrimp they make the best fried fish you've ever had in your life um they make really good um I even had a lady make a spaghetti with shrimp and it was delicious. And that was in Newark. Oh, I love those people. And then if they're from La Sierra, then um they usually eat like a lot of um a lot of this thing called cuy. <laughs> cuy is like the best thing ever. It's it's fried. It's guinea pig. Um and a lot of people think that it's weird, but I had some and it tastes just like pork. It's really good. And as far as weird things, I don't know. I'm Mexican, so I don't think a lot of stuff is weird that other people might think is weird like i eat pig's feet and i'm fine with it i eat cow tongue and it's i think it's good i think it's way good i think the weirdest thing that i ever had to eat was this this lady her name was hermana esquivel she was in dover she gave us these it was like this little jar of like these weird i don't know if it was worms that they used to like they put them in they put them in like their drinks they put them in like sugar water and i guess it like ferments the water and they make alcohol with it or something um but it was these little like worms and they were just like squirming around in the water they're like about this big and she's just like yeah well, there's yeah you can eat them too and i was like really and she's like yeah sure and she like grabbed the spoon and like gave us these little worms and they're squirming around i'm like okay and so i ate them and they were like super bitter like really bitter and so i swallowed but i didn't feel too great about it i was like these cuz they're just like these tiny little worms that they gave you but other than that i mostly i just enjoyed myself there's so much good food and if you get if you have filipinos feed you you're having a good day they always make really good food unless it's balu something that other missionaries had to try which is like an egg with a half formed chick inside and so they can serve it either cold or warm and you're eating you like crack the egg open and you're literally eating like this and they eat it whole like this this little um chick and it's like got half formed feathers and stuff and it's just i heard it's really bad or maybe it's duck i don't know if it's duck but 
I would never try that no matter how much he paid me. I was lucky and I never had to because I served around Hispanics all the time, but really good food. Really good food. <laughs>